People who have been to a wedding where someone objected to the marriage, what was their reason? Story 1. At my half-sister's wedding, when they got to the objection part, her mother, same dad, different mum, leant across to another family member and whispered, Yeah, he isn't good enough for her. The officant stopped the wedding and asked her to speak up, saying it's a legal part to, to the wedding, and if she has an objection, then please state it loud enough to hear. Sister's mum laughed it off and sat down, red-faced, while I glared evils into the back of this woman's head. My sister is awesome, and the guy she's with makes her super happy. Bonus awkward points dot 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 dot. In his speech, he thanked sister's mother for accepting him onto the family and how happy he was to have another mum. Both his parents have passed away. Oof, from me. Story two. I was at one of my good friend's wedding. She was marrying a man she thought was a truck driver. And when the priest says, does anyone object? This woman stands up and says, I do. Turns out the guy wasn't a truck driver, but was a married man from Florida who had two kids and the woman was his wife. Story three. My good friend's wedding video is awesome. A big thunderstorm blew up during the ceremony. And just as the minister asked, does anybody have any objections? Lightning strikes the church with a tremendous ka boom and all the lights go out. There's some nervous laughter and the minister says, that doesn't count. And the ceremony continued. Story four. The bride was banging this dude at the time of her marriage, not the groom BTW. And then someone ended up objecting, the guy she was flipping and said, she has been flipping me that cow and she is better off with me. The groom dumped her after that, and then everyone in my province knows her, so no one wants her, so she moved province. Her breakdown at the wedding was priceless. Story 5. I was at a friend's wedding when his mother got up during the vows and said, Objection. Everyone stared at her in confusion while she stood there staring at his soon-to-be wife. His mother then proceeded to say, I don't want my baby being with that rat bastard for the rest of his life. Everyone just kind of sat there looking confused and shocked. Her son, my friend, looked at her with a beet red face and ran out of the church we were in. I guess he felt the same way but didn't want to agree. Long story short, the bride ended up calling the wedding off and they broke up. Didn't get a slice of cake. Good times. Story six. Fun fact. In France, the religious ceremony has no value, and the legal wedding is performed in a short ceremony by the mayor, typically the same day in the morning. Then everyone rushes to the religious one. This ceremony is public, and as such, the doors must be open so that anyone with a valid legal motive can interrupt. Sneakily closing the doors can get the marriage annulled. Story 7. This happened a couple of years ago. A work social friend of mine was getting married to a guy she had previously dated, but broke off the relationship, because one night he was drunk and tried to strangle her. They were apart for a couple of years. He supposedly cleaned up, and then started dating again. One night, we three were at a bar and my friend has to go to the restroom. As soon as she leaves the table, he nudges my elbow and tells me how loose her cat is and that it's wrecked and cow. I'm a guy. I told him she loves you, man. Don't talk about my friend like that. It's disrespectful and it'll end with me kicking your peach. He tells me, fudge you. My friend comes back to the table and realizes there's enough tension to with a knife. I gave my friend a kiss on the cheek and called it a night. She called me later that evening and asked what happened. I gave it to her straight. I could hear her crying on the other end. She kept on dating this toxic piece of cow. A few months later, the wedding announcements were sent. I was just like, oh, fudge. One night, I'm out on a date, who becomes my future wife, at a nice Italian restaurant when I see Mr. Toxic sitting at the bar, kissing the neck of some woman who isn't my friend. This was about a week and a half before the wedding. I whip out the phone and start filming. I got a good of him grabbing this lady's ball and putting his hand up her skirt with her slapping his hand off. My future wife is like, are you doing? I quietly explain the situation. After I got enough evidence, he sees me, comes over to the table and asks me what I'm doing there. I tell him that I'm doing what people do when they go to a restaurant. He asked me how long I was there. I said that we were just seated. He's like, okay, well, I was just getting a drink and I'm on my way home. I told him to drive safely. He walks out. The woman at the bar gets this confused look on her face and then runs after him. After a life-changing, fabulous date, besides the previous cow, I go over to my friend's house. Mr. Toxic's car isn't there. I show my friend the video, tell her that I ate hours ago, and she breaks down into a crying mess. I ask the question, you're not going to go through with the wedding, are you? She tells me that all the reservations have been made, the church booked, the caterers paid, the photographer paid, yada yada. I'm like, who gives a cow? No one wanted to see her married to a cheater. She says she doesn't want to marry him, but she's obligated. I'm good friends with her father. He's a hulking 6'4 inches 300 pounds. 
Harley Ryder with a handlebar mustache. I pay him a visit. I show him the video. He turns red. Veins start showing up on his forehead. His hands start opening and closing in clenches. He says I explain to him what how his daughter feels obligated. He gives me a bear hug that just about breaks my back. He lets me go. I see he's crying profusely. He asks me if I could send him the video. I'm like, of course. The next day, my friend's dad calls me up and tells me that the wedding is going to now be a dodging a bullet ceremony with maybe and Peach kicking for the finale. I told him that I would be more than happy to attend. My friend called me up and thanked me. She said that her dad dropped by and told her that he would not allow her to marry him. It was a load off her back. So we went over Mr. Toxic's guest list. No family, just friends. Perfect. The day of the ceremony, Dad had a large flat-screen TV. Plugged in on the dais, the preacher was warned, I guess, because Dad walked his daughter down the aisle, and when they got to the end, the preacher turned around and walked out. Mr. Toxic didn't notice, but he reached out for my friend's hand, and her dad loudly said, No flipping way in this universe. Then the flat screen with surround sound came on. There it was for everyone to see, with my future wife saying, Are you doing? And my whole explanation afterwards. Mr. Toxic was pasty white and sweating profusely. He did the perp walk down the center aisle, caught my eye with me, giving him the finger too. I heard a dude say, No flipping way. Mr. Toxic exits and dad says, Let's party. That was it. We had a great night. There were a couple times that my friend broke down crying, but overall she danced her peach off and laughed a lot. About six months later, she met the man of her dreams. Just a really fantastic guy. The wedding is this September. Story 8. Not an objection, but had a drunk guy friend tell me, the bride, to give him a call when things didn't work out. Obviously him out of my circle. He called me a few years later, a week before his own wedding, and asked if I was still happy. My husband and I just celebrated 15 years together and look forward to many more. Story 9. Edit. Sorry for cliffhanger, a guy had been some of the girls from the school where he was the after-school activity program director. The bride has a daughter herself and knew about some of the allegations but decided to marry him anyway, out of state. While some of us were still invited and unbeknownst to her, a woman barges in cussing up a storm because her daughter is one of the ones that he, really bad, and she's in counseling because of it and he got off free. Was a full-out brawl, intruder lady, and a few others were arrested and that was the end of that wedding. She ran off somewhere and I guess cried for the remainder of the evening and her family asked everyone to leave. She still married him, but eloped somewhere private and posted pictures on Facebook. Story 10. We didn't object, but it was hard to keep our mouths shut at my aunt's wedding. She'd had a hard life. Her two daughters were intellectually disabled to the point where they had to live in a care facility full time. They'll never progress beyond toddlerhood, but are in their 30 -e 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 -e. Her first husband abused the girls and then terminated himself. The only bright side was that he left her millions in real estate. Her second serious partner left her and she was lonely as hell. She lectured and was a smart lady with a PhD, but somehow fell for this con man. He's a bad dude. He was after her money, which was supposed to be for the future care of the girls. He wasn't allowed back in several countries because he had conned people out of so much money. And there was something very wrong with him intellectually. He claimed to be able to cure cancer and took cancer patients' money and would stay in hotels, then leave without paying. He'd steal credit cards from people, etc. Anyhow, we were invited to the wedding. We'd found out about his issues, but he had convinced my aunt that it was all lies and the world was against him. We struggled so hard to be there for her that day, but we needed her to know that we were on her side, as he had already started to poison her mind with allegations that her family weren't good for her. Soon he had her totally under his control, and none of us were allowed to speak to her. We were pretty worried, but couldn't do anything. Eventually, after about five years, he blew through most of her money. They did IVF and had a son, who was now eight. Her husband left when the money was gone, and she got a bit wise to his lies. So now she's nearly 60, raising a child, and trying to rebuild bridges with her family and friends. Kinda wish we had objected at the wedding, but she was set on her path, and other people like her parents had told her all the bad stuff they had found out about her husband, and it hadn't stopped her. Figured all we could do was be there for her. Story 11. My husband and I got married when my oldest was three mo. When the officiant asked if there were any objections, our daughter whined loudly started crying right after. Timing couldn't have been any more perfect. Officiant replied, too late. Everyone was cracking up. Honestly, the best part of our wedding video, lol. Story 12. Not the wedding, but the rehearsal. Bill's ex somehow finds the location, but mistook the date. Started her insaneness by stating she forgave him for breaking up with her 
and he seriously needed to stop trying to act like he moved on. Him and my sister had been together for a couple of years, and had been living together for at least two, like bad person I'm pretty sure he ain't faking it. Van decided to claim she was pregnant with his child. B.I.L. proceeded to tell her that she was his greatest mistake, and that if she was pregnant, it was probably her stepfather's just like the last one she claimed was his, and aborted without telling him. Me and the best man kindly kept her away from the couple while the friend who owned the house the wedding was taking place at called the police because she was refusing to leave her property. Story 13. Slightly unrelated, but I think I read somewhere on Reddit that the objection part of the ceremony was never meant to be about she should be with me instead, or you'll never be as happy with her as you were with me. Its inclusion is so if anyone knows of a legal reason that the marriage cannot be valid, one of them is already married, the bride isn't a virgin, bride and groom are siblings, etc. They have the opportunity to say so before the marriage is allowed and thus prevent any martial sins from taking place. Edit. Yes, obviously, it is not currently illegal for non-virgins to marry. The custom was started centuries ago and was based on biblical and civil law. Story 14. One of my oldest friends is getting married this evening, and I am one of her bridesmaids. It's going to take everything I have not to object. I and all of our friends, and seemingly even her parents, can't stand her husband to be. He's a massive tool, and nobody can understand what she sees in him. He's not abusive or anything, just relentlessly try-hard and annoying. He's like the sheltered homeschool kid who enters the real world at age 21 and tries to adapt by acting all street. He vapes indoors and makes assault jokes and quotes things even 4chan would find 3 edgy 5 me. Story 15. I've posted this before. I objected to my friend getting married during the ceremony. We were at the White Chapel in Vegas with friends and I had been drinking so she just laughed it off. Well, she told me later she should have listened because he ended up back in prison. She's now with a good guy but was having to do the whole back and forth to jail and then putting money on his books. Story 16. I was at the one wedding where the bride had only known the groom for what seemed like a day. They didn't seem like a good match. She was a good few feet taller than him, and it looked like it wouldn't work. Anyway, they're at the altar. The priest says his line, and this dude and his mate comes running in shouting he objects and confesses his love to the bride. The groom's buddies get a bit physical and a fight breaks out. Long story short, Groom gets eaten by a dragon, and the bride turns into an ogre, and they live in a swamp now with their three kids. So I guess it all worked out for them. Story 17. Glad you asked. I try to tell this story to everyone I can. My cousin had a rather extravagant wedding at an upscale golf course. I didn't really want to go because I knew he had hooked up with a friend in our group after he was engaged to the bride. But family pressure and an open bar persuaded me, and I'm oh no glad I went. I knew it was going to be good when our friend he cheated with was there. He's not the smartest man. Anyway, we have a few drinks at the bar and head to our seats for the ceremony. Apparently, they hit her pretty hard because at the moment of truth, she yells, I object, your honor. That man's banana is too small to satisfy. He is unfit for marriage. Like it was a goddamn court case. Everyone went silent for a second, and then I looked over at my buddy and we burst out laughing our asses off. Bride was pissed, slapped groom. They both cried. But after a brief break and conversation, they decided to go through with it. Unsurprisingly, they're getting divorced after a solid two-year marriage. Story 18. Not exactly an objection, but I worked as a photographer at a wedding chapel on the Vegas Strip. We had a young Chinese couple come in with their friends and get married. The minister did his normal speech, but when it came down to the vows, I could tell something was wrong. The groom kept putting the ring on the bride's finger and taking it off hesitantly. This went in for a few uncomfortable minutes. At one point, the groom asked the bride if there was someone else, and she nodded her head. After a couple more awkward moments, the minister explained that if he did not pronounce them man and wife, it wouldn't be legal. They decided not to get married. Their friends still bought the DVD, though. That was one of my favorite moments working there. Story 19. I remember it like it was yesterday. Everyone had gathered in a tight bunch. There were birds nesting in the nearby trees, watching with beady eyes. There were cries of kiss, kiss, kiss. It truly was a joyful occasion. Then there was this guy who called himself the school principal, burst through the crowd in a suit and demanded for the whole thing to be called off, spouting things such as peer pressure and who was in charge of this. On hearing this, well, the crowd ran like hell, closely followed by the bride and groom. Ah, primary school weddings. Story 20. I was at this wedding and everything was going good so far, but we noticed this creepy guy sort of hanging out outside the church. We ignored him and thought he'd gone and the ceremony started. The bride and groom were saying their vows, but then 
This same creep just bursts in and starts saying they can't get married because the bride is a worker, and starts shouting about how the goddamn door should be closed. He was dressed really weirdly as well. Who the fudge wears a top hat and red jacket to go crash a wedding? Story 21. Bride's sister and cousin both objected because the bride was flipping around and continued to do so a few weeks before the wedding. It was done the day before the wedding, though, and not during. They forced the bride to confess, and she did. Naturally, there was no wedding the next day. From the outside, they did look like a good couple, though. Story 22. Went to relative's wedding, someone reason. The lady objectee was the bride's girlfriend, who she broke up with because of the wedding, but got pregnant by the groom because of a one drunken nightstand from the recent engagement party. Everything's in shambles because of the very, very shocking revelation. The costly wedding then got canceled. Story 23. Had somewhat of the opposite happened to me. One of my closest friends got married to someone seven years ago. Turns out she had been interested in me and, in part, did not invite me to their wedding. We were not as close as we are now. There were a couple of reasons she didn't invite me. One of them was apparently, she was afraid that if I showed up, she wouldn't have finished the ceremony. That was apparently one of many red flags she ignored. They seriously talked of divorce last summer. Husband went out and got himself a girlfriend while the process dragged on. Ex proposed to new girl before divorce was final. She said yes, and they set a November date. Divorce finalized. An ex-husband married his new girl at the courthouse the next day. Wonder how that cow show will go.